I went to Andy with uh, the fact that I'd been using the iPad with the sixth form class and tried a number of different things, was allowed to um, get different devices into the classroom to see what it's like to engage with a number of different devices, um, all with wireless connectivity. I very quick, like, quickly realised that there were some apps that were beneficial to learning. So I went to see Andy and said, there is an opportunity here with the uh, devices that I've got in the classroom, is it okay to carry on? Then I did a little bit of assessment after doing a unit of work and realised that their test scores had gone up by 20% compared to the year before. And that's where we started to have a real conversation. One of the big agendas for the school is, is independent learning um, and it's about creating this type of learners um, who are infused, who continue learning outside the classroom, um, who have some sort of ownership over their learning and it has massively um, impacted upon that. We get boys who immediately find out answers to questions in lessons, um, who, are tech, who are going the extra mile, who are getting out more information, um, how to use that information and the creativity, which is something that I didn't expect to happen, um, one of those higher level skills, sort of right at the top of Bloom's Taxonomy. And there they are in lessons, um, particularly with members of staff who are willing to sort of, yeah, let's just go with this. It doesn't matter which app you use, it doesn't matter what, what sort of uh, technique you use, but we're going to take this information and we're going to put it in a different form. Um, some of the things that they're then coming back with are really are incredible um, and show a very high level of learning. I came down one time to my dad and said, uh, this is only a 30 second project, is, uh, is this okay just for my geography? And he was like, wow, because he was so amazed by what you could do on it. I feel that it's kind of enhanced my learning because I'm more kind of excited to like say do homework because you get to use the iPad and then um, like doing classwork as well you get to like um, interact with it more and you get to like uh, just do basically everything with it it's I find it's really good so I'd use it a lot more. I think most people like iMovie because it's um, it's really fun and you can it, you either can do a trailer or a project and you get um, videos out which you've made and then you can put it all in and make a big video like what we did in the history of maths we got our we got our mathematician and then we got information and put it into a big video and it's just really fun and interesting Part of the, the rollout, we got parents in with their with their students and made that clear as to what the expectations were, what um, it would look like at home, what it would look like in school, both in terms of the learning, but also the practicalities of having a device one to one. To one. It, it moves beyond what's usual for sort of traditional education, what parents would expect, what students would expect. It removes a lot of the barriers to learning that the teachers wish could have been removed a number of years ago. And, and the ability to adapt your lesson to the needs of the learners and for the learners to be able to inform because you can assess very quickly with the device uh, really makes a difference. The device allows me to personalise learning for all and it also allows me to stimulate them very quickly should they progress maybe quicker than I thought they would. And that ties in with the 21st century classroom because it's that engagement and the, the whole group have a personalised learning environment but an ability to reflect, assess and give back something to the students very quickly wouldn't be possible without the iPads.